What up guys, welcome to Game Over Entertainment. My name is Trey. Real quick video right here about The Wolf Among Us. Just another discussion topic where I would like you guys to participate in this one. Please like the comment section up because I want to know from other Wolf Among Us fans, who do you think the killer is? So from episode one, we know there's a killer in Fable Town and I personally don't have any clue who it is. We're all the way up to the season finale now. And uh, yeah, who is pulling the strings around here? And I mean that literally, okay? Who is pulling the strings off these ribbons? In episode four, we get some new information about the ribbon, basically learning that it is the device that's keeping these women from talking, revealing any details about the crimes and the like underlying situations going on behind the scenes, and also like a self-destruct button, instant decapitation if it's pulled off the neck. Whoa, dangerous stuff. I'm talking about shower with it, sleep with it, guard it with your life, okay? Oh man, so this is a pretty dastardly tool that uh, these girls have been cursed with. As far as we know, four girls have the ribbons. Faith, Lily, Nerissa, and Vivian. And two of those girls are dead already. With their severed heads left on my doorstep to find. Who do you guys think is behind this? Who is pulling the strings? Who is leaving these heads for me to find? Now it could be an entity, you know, the whole Crooked Man's organization working together to do this, but something tells me there is just one person in particular who's carrying out this vendetta. I don't think it's, it could be multiple people, maybe like one or two people, but as, as far as like the hooker, Crooked Man getting his whole crew together to take out this job, I don't think so. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to fit with uh, his, his MO or maybe maybe it does and why leave the heads in front of him? the doorstep for me to find you know that's just another mystery i'm really interested to hear what you guys are thinking about this uh go ahead and leave who you think is the killer below and maybe a quick reason why but you know the reason why doesn't really matter just maybe just drop a name down there and i'm gonna show you a quick list of all the fables in the book of fables so you don't forget who you're looking at and you can see all the possible suspects because everybody is a suspect, all right, everybody, except probably Big B and Prince Lawrence. Even Snow White. Wouldn't that be crazy if Snow White turned out to be the killer? Look what I found. <laughs> Whoa, all right. <laughs> yes, I'm reaching very far, but uh, I do think it's not gonna be an obvious pick. All right, it's gonna be something that we didn't see coming because that's just telltale style. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit me with a thumbs up. But most importantly, leave a comment below. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching.